Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. We've got another insane week of LEGO news with more coming from Harry Potter, Ghostbusters, Creator Christmas, a Star Wars holiday special, and could we be getting Looney Tunes minifigures? And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web, so if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up from LEGO Frozen, we've got Olaf for 40% off. From LEGO City, we've got the Rover Testing Drive and Garage center for 33% off, as well as the Sky Police Parachute Arrest for 30% off. From Star Wars, we've got the Death Star Cannon for 31% off. And from LEGO Minecraft, we've got the Pig Big Fig and Baby Zombie set for 33% off. From LEGO Hidden Side, we've got El Fuego Stunt Truck for 28% off. And from LEGO Technic, we've got the Race Truck and Buggy set for 30% off. And you can find links to these deals and more in the description below. Next up, thanks to Brick Fanatics, it's rumored that one of our 2021 collectible minifigure series could be based on the classic Looney Tunes. Licensed collectible minifigure series like the Disney and DC ones have been really popular, so it only makes sense with so many classic characters from Looney Tunes that this would be a really good fit. Additionally, in recent years, there's been newer iterations of the classic characters as well as an upcoming Space Jam sequel with LeBron James, so it could be good for LEGO to capitalize on some recent interest in the characters. Overall, I'm super excited at the prospect of this one and I can't wait to see the designs when they're finally revealed, but we'll have to wait and see. Next up, we've talked before about the upcoming Diagon Alley set, which should be revealed fairly soon, especially since the LEGO.com page was accidentally posted for a short time, so we do have some details of what's to be included. And as far as shops go, we can expect to get Ollivander's Wand Shop, Scribulous Writing Implements, and Florian Fortescue's Ice Cream Parlor, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, and the Daily Prophet, and Flourish and Blots, and Quality Quidditch Supplies. This set contains over 5,500 parts and should be over a meter wide, so it's going to be a large set. And with all these awesome buildings, it's shaping up to be one of my favorites yet. In Ghostbusters news, it's looking like we're going to be getting a large-scale build build of the Ecto-1 in 2021. While we did get the LEGO Ideas Ghostbusters Ecto-1 back in the day, this one is going to be a much larger set, more akin to the LEGO creator James Bond Aston Martin DB5. The Ecto-1 has some really awesome shaping that I think this larger scale could really account for, not to mention all the other functions like we got for the DB5. This set is reported to cost $200, which should give them enough pieces to really do the Ecto-1 justice. This set would definitely be a must-have for me, and I just hope they continue the trend and build out some other classic cars like the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Next up in holiday news, each year we get a holiday set and this year's set is rumored to be the Elf Clubhouse. The last Elf-based Christmas sets that we got were back in 2014 and after last year's stellar gingerbread house, this one sounds like a slam dunk. The gingerbread house build for me was so much fun and I can see them having a lot of fun with all of the different elves going around the clubhouse. And seeing as we're already in August, I'd expect to see this set as soon as next month, so stay tuned for more details. Next Next up in Star Wars news, this week they announced an all-new LEGO Star Wars holiday special coming to Disney+. This story takes place after the events of The Rise of Skywalker and reunites all of our favorites to celebrate Life Day on Kashyyyk. And while on their journey, they'll meet characters from across the Star Wars timeline, which should be really fun. To coincide with the holiday special, they of course have the LEGO Star Wars advent calendar as well as a newly revealed LEGO Star Wars holiday sticker book, which seems like it could be fun for kids with its 200 stickers. And if you want to pick up the book, I've left a link in the description below. The holiday special should be pretty fun, and it can't be any worse than the original one. And you'll be able to watch the LEGO Star Wars holiday special when it comes out on November 17th. Next up, we finally got the release of some great summer 2020 sets over at Target. So many of these sets have been delayed, so it's great to see that Target has available the new Star Wars, Harry Potter, Ninjago, LEGO Batman, art, architecture, technic, city, creator, and so many more. I've been personally waiting for these for forever, so I can't wait to pick some up myself. And if you want to pick up any of the sets and support the channel, I've left links in the description below to everything. Next up in LEGO Harry Potter news, Promo Bricks got their hands on a full case of the new LEGO Harry Potter minifigures series too. And thanks to them, we know how many of each character will be coming in a case. The ones three per case include Lily and James Potter, Fred and George Weasley, Ginny Weasley and Kingsley Shacklebolt, and Bellatrix Lestrange. Four per case include Harry Potter and Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger and Neville Longbottom, and Luna Lovegood and Professor Sprout. And five per case, we've got Albus Dumbledore and Griphook and Moaning Myrtle. I'm still super excited about this wave, and many have already started to pick them up at their local Target stores, so definitely keep your eyes out. This week, the Brick Fan is also reporting that the Lego Stranger Things Upside Down set and the Disney Castle will not be retiring in 2020. While normally a set not retiring isn't really newsworthy, with all the Lego shortages these days and these big sets being really Really highly in demand, it's great to know that just because these sets are a bit scarce now, that you won't be missing out on anything this year. And if you're looking to pick up the sets, they're currently accepting back orders for the 
Disney Castle and orders for the Upside Down. And I've left links for you in the description below. Next up in LEGO Ideas news, there are two more projects to hit 10,000 supporters on the platform. First up, we've got the LEGO Doggo project. This project features seven different brick-built dogs, all of different breeds. And they're built in this really cute style that would look so good on display. The breeds include the Beagle, Corgi, German Shepherd, Husky, Shiba Inu, Yorkshire Terrier, and Pug. Overall, I really like the look of these, and as a recent dog owner, I would definitely love to pick up this as a set. The other project is the Bangladesh National Parliament Building. This project depicts the Parliament Building in a micro-scale Lego architecture-like style. The actual building was completed in 1982 and was designed by renowned architect Louis I. Kahn. And while it looks like they did a really nice job capturing the design of the building, I'm curious to see how this one would fare in the review round. As many of these Lego architecture-style projects sadly haven't made it too far, but of course we'll have to wait and see. Next up in LEGO City news, we finally got official pictures of the upcoming Main Square set. This set contains 1,517 pieces and will retail for $200 when it comes out on September 1st. This set is jam-packed with tons of builds as well as lots of vehicles. At the center, we've got City Hall, which features a modest interior, as well as the key to the city, which can be stolen by the criminals. At the center of town, there's a park with a nice statue fountain, as well as this really awesome performance venue. There's also a nice build for the city diner with a drive through window and a small interior which packs the kitchen, register, and even a table. The design for this yellow train looks really nice with the curved ends, and there's even a small train station build with some nice details. There's also a pretty fun build for the handyman's wagon, a motorcycle and ATV, and even a small fire helicopter. This set packs in a whopping 14 minifigures, with notable inclusions of the corncob costumed mayor, as well as this amazing minifigure featuring a design for a hearing aid, and it's great to see that representation. Overall, this main square set definitely packs a punch, and I think that kids are going to have a ton of fun with this one. And if you want to check it out for yourself, I've left a link in the description below. This week, we also got a look at the LEGO Designer video for the recent Nintendo Entertainment System set. Unlike with many of the other designer videos, this one featured a whole host of different designers that all had their hand at bringing this one to life. I always love these designer videos, especially getting to some of the behind the scenes stories, such as how they built the game loading mechanic and even the scrolling screen, which took a lot of engineering to keep the system stable on its side. The graphic designer talked about all the set's new prints, and I loved hearing the story about how that new Mario piece was designed to fit in scale with the tiles. There are plenty of other interesting nuggets from this interview, so I highly recommend you checking it out. And if you want to watch it for yourself, I've left a link in the description below. And sadly, if you want to pick up the set for yourself, it's temporarily out of stock. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news, and this may be one of the craziest weeks yet. With so many upcoming sets for 2020 and 2021, there's a ton to look forward to. I'm definitely most eager to see what the minifigure designs could look like for Looney Tunes, as well as what a larger scale Ecto-1 would look like. But I'm definitely getting ahead of myself because there's still so many summer 2020 sets I need to pick up. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, click here to watch last week's video featuring Lego Harry Potter, Lego Roman Coliseum, and more summer 2020 news. And don't forget to subscribe.